Hi everyone. So this is the uh, video number two in the six part series. And this one is my field uh, field jacket uh, pen pouch. So it always stays on the right side of my field jacket. Now I know it's going to sound a lot and uh, look like a lot and it is. But I am a stationary nut and I don't make any apologies for that. I have always been one. And I love having my favourite stationery with me. It's like a uh, a comfort blanket, blanket to me. And I like writing with different pens for different things and for different types of work and uh, for different note taking. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what uh, is always pretty much in here. A few of the pens do change around, um, mainly on the right side. But the left side is usually pretty much the same. So let's start. First of all, the, the the main pen that I happen to be using is always pretty much just kept here. Uh, usually it is a Parker a Vector Fountain Pen. Uh, these days it is a Stabilo uh, Blue S-Move uh, Fine Liner. The ink colour of this is beautiful. It is, it's, it's like um, Barbados Blue for the Mont Blanc. It's, it's really, let me just quickly grab a piece of paper and show you if I uh, do some writing on, on here Let's see if I can yeah fine I'll do some writing on here so uh, Stabilo uh, S move fine liner Uh, I absolutely love this blue, and uh, because of the shit colours, uh, so if you have a look at this blue, I absolutely love the colour of this blue, it's so beautiful. So this is, uh, and it's almost very similar to the Parker blue, so I've been using this one for some time, and uh, I absolutely, this is one of my favourite pens. So this one is usually kept here. And then for notes, I've been using the uh, Stadler Mars Micro 0 0.5 pencil. It's a mechanical pencil, but this one doesn't have your normal... It's a normal pencil, but the lead in here is red. It's a red pencil lead. Um, so I use this for marking um, in books and on uh, lab reports and so on uh, when I need to highlight something or just mark an error when I'm doing proofreading so instead of using a highlighter or anything this is perfect because I can write small small notes very lightly and I, then I can rub them out but because it's a different colour to a normal pencil or a pen I'll, obviously I can't use a red pen uh, an ink pen on my uh, reports because then you know if they need to be submitted or something so the red pencil is perfect for that so uh, this one is it contains red, but it, it can sometimes also contain uh, green or blue. Um, I swap it around. Okay, so let's do this left side first. Then uh, I have a excuse me, it's usually easier. Mont Blanc Star Walker uh, ballpoint pen. This is black. Uh, this is for filling out uh, official documents and so on. Oh, I hate black ink. I'm not a fan of black ink, but uh, because computer OCR pretty much accepts black uh, as be as better for it, and people don't like change, people in offices don't like change, so it has to be black ink, and I hate black ink. But this is black ink. This is blue ink. So this is this is again. This is the Meisterstück uh, Classic Platinum and the resin. This is blue ink. And again, like I did the other video, I can put the Fisher Space Pen refill in here as well. This is the Star Walker Fine Liner, and this again, this has fine. Um, this this is the Fine Liner. Um, you can also have the Rollerball refill in as well, or you can put in any other color in here. At the moment, it does have blue in here, and. This is the Meisterstruck fountain pen. This again, this has blue in it. This is the extra fine nib. Uh, I'm actually quite a fan of extra fine nibs. 
uh, for my Mont Blanc fountain pens and my Graphon Faber Castell fountain pen. I have uh, it ha features a um, an extra fine nib on that one as well. Whereas for my Parkers, I really love their um, uh, medium, their their standard uh, standard nib for the Parker. Uh, I have a 800 uh, rotary 800 plus 0.5 millimeter pencil uh, standard 2B lead in here with the uh, soft tip so I can use it on my iPhone or iPad. Uh, Muji pink highlighter. Pigment ink Stadler uh, Tri Plus dark purple and mauve. Uh, Graphon Faber Castell the perfect pencil and a spare pencil in there uh, again brown and something my sisters gave me uh, the um, cross lacquered cross blue and yes it does have blue ink and I know it's redundant but I really love this okay so that covers this side and then moving on to the right side uh, green ink I absolutely love greening Pilot V Pilot V5 uh, high tech point. Uh, this is amazing. I love the color, the, um, the quality of the ink, the texture of the ink. It's really, really good. I absolutely love this. And again, I use this for highlighting uh, on things that I can actually don't have to worry about uh, erasing things from. Uh, Eight four nine. Uh, Karen Dache ballpoint pen black technical drawing pencils these are always with me in pretty much in every kit uh, so I have point zero point three uh, zero point five uh, zero point seven and the urban preppers favorite zero point nine these are used for technical drawings in engineering and uh, pretty much every engineer tends to have at least uh, two Great. Um, depending on what type of engineering they're doing, they tend to usually have the 0.5 and the 0 0.7. 0 0.5 is actually used for drawings. 0.7 is used for writing, writing on a drawing, so explaining what uh, what the part is. Uh, 0 0.3 is used to show hidden detail, and 0 0.9 is actually used to as a highlighter or as a part if you have to um, describe where a part has been broken so that it has a specific meaning each of these uh, lead calibers has a specific meaning and the lead type is 2B lead so each this 0 0.9, 0 0.7, 0 0.5 and 0 0.3 leads all leads are 2B grade lead um, so this one is used, again, like I mentioned this is used for standard drawing this is used for actual writing this is used for uh, showing damage or for highlighting a specific object and this is shown for hidden detail uh, a purple uh, fine map marker uh, you, I use these for mapping, mapping routes on maps uh, I usually put over a map uh, a plastic overlay onto the map so I don't have to worry about damaging the map this is this isn't really a pen but it just it's just the perfect place to put it this is a uh, a watch strap changer so it's a travel one it doesn't poke you so on one side it has the uh, watch strap remover and on the other side it has the watch pin remover so usually the, the watch strap changes are usually just like this they don't have a cover this one is extremely high quality it's a machine tool made by watch engineers so it's perfect they've really put some thought into this and the heads on this can actually be changed as well you can just these heads come out they screw out and should they be damaged you can just very easily get replacements from the company or you can change them over to a specific head for your specific watch like Hublot Hublot watches use a specific screw right reverse head or um, Bell and Ross use a different set so that always pretty much stays in there Clear fountain pen, not yet inked. I removed the ink from this. Uh, I put uh, Asprey purple ink into here, which I absolutely love. Unfortunately, Asprey, the British company Asprey, has been taken over a couple of years ago, and their quality of product, general quality of product, is it used to be like the benchmark, the British benchmark, and now it's probably 
reverse it's it's horrible i mean they they are only selling they, they've moved away from what they used to be from a brand name a brand house um as i was growing up i my mom used to take me to my mom and my aunt used to take me to asbury uh to get the inks and just have a look around you know when they wanted to buy something so um i'm really disappointed with that but i do have one last bottle um and i like putting the asbury purple in here because you can actually really see the purple through the clear plastic so this is one of my favorite or i tend to put a green ink here in, into here as well uh the final thing i have in here uh is another black pen this one is the U uni jet scream 101 i've been trying these pens out and i absolutely love them they it's like writing with silk i might have shown you these pens before but i'm just going to do it again where did i put my uh I had some writing paper. Oh, here we go. Okay, totally forgot it was there. So this is the okay. Uniball uh, Jet Scream One Zero One, and it is one point zero millimeters nib, and it is just so soft to write with it just takes absolutely no i'm actually really holding this weird i i will i'll try not even to hold it uh and it will write i'm not even holding it i'm not even putting any pressure on there uh it's just such a beautiful pen to write i like the blue with this one uh but i have put the black one in just sometimes when i need to borrow a pen or something i absolutely love this um pen and i have in here uh, the state uh, the streamlight stylus i'm not going to shine it but it takes two uh two to play batteries this the, the batteries are active in there it's ready to go it's ready to go and i also have because i used to travel with this i i have two um refills this is the green refill the Irish Green refill, uh, f uh, the Irish Green uh, ballpoint refill for my Mont Blanc uh, pens. Usually, I, this is the one that I swap over. So the, at the moment, I have blue in here. So I'll, if I put my green one in here, I'll take the blue one out and put it into here. Or if I need an additional black, I will put the black in there and so on. So they sort of transition through different times. So the green one is in here and the spare black one is in here. And the blue one is inked kind of you know ink ready to go and the final thing is uh, a fisher space pen now obviously no pen collection would be, my pen collection wouldn't be complete without having one of these um love these and i there isn't really anything to, more to say about this it's a pen that has uh received so many awards so many design awards and it's been space and, uh it's it works and it, divers use it it's a beautiful pen and uh this one has the um, NASA Space Shuttle emblem on it, so that's quite special to me. Let's see if it focuses, which I absolutely love. Um, I wish this one had the US flag on it as well. That would be extremely special with the rocket, maybe like a US flag here as if the rocket was sort of flying the US flag. Um, that would be very, very cool. Uh, come on, focus. I'm just trying to focus this. Uh, I really am not very good at some, sometimes. Things just sort of go mental. Okay, this isn't going to focus. I don't know why. Uh, so it's just being stupid. But um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I really appreciate you watching the video. Uh, so this was video two. And I still can't believe it's not focusing. I'm really, really embarrassed. So I will end the video here. Uh, but I think I've managed to um, explain, uh, show everything that I have in here. And um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching video too. And uh, I'll do the other four pretty soon as well. Thank you. Bye.